This morning, a long-awaited homecoming for NASA astronaut Mark Vandehei, returning from a record 355 days in space. It's sometimes challenging being up here, but I, I, I have just been having a blast. He, along with two Russian cosmonauts, left the International Space Station Tuesday, boarding Russia's Soyuz spaceship to land in Kazakhstan this morning. They returned to a very different landscape than when Vandehei left Earth nearly one year ago. Tensions between the U.S. and Russia have escalated to new heights as the war in Ukraine rages. But Tuesday, during the traditional change of command ceremony, the Russian commander on the space station took a moment to reflect on those tensions. People uh, have problem on Earth, on orbit. Uh, we are like, uh, we, we are not like, we are one crew. And then this shared hug between the Russian and the American. As the commander handed over the symbolic and space I'm, station I, key to the new commander, to Thomas Marshburn. Weeks ago, when the U.S. began sanctioning Russia, tensions did reach space. The head of the Russian space agency threatened to abandon Vandehei, posting a video showing the cosmonauts waving goodbye to him. Retired astronaut Scott Kelly fired back, engaging in a social media war of words. I never thought I would ever hear anything so outrageous. But reflecting on her time in orbit, former astronaut Katie Coleman says up in space, where you're from doesn't matter. The fact that you're from one little place on that planet is a really nice, it's a great sense of community. After landing this morning, Vandehyde travels back to NASA headquarters in Houston. As for future Russian-American space flights, a top Russian official is expected to discuss that issue tomorrow. Andrew, Mona. Andrea, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.